hello and welcome to our channel minus point so today in this video we are going to discuss about a top topic of spatial ability and, and the topic name is opening of cubes so when the person in a comment has mentioned to make a video on opening of cubes so this is about that only so let us discuss about before going to discuss about the opening of cubes directly we need to first understand the opposite sides of a cube so this uh, finding an opposite side of the cube will help in understanding the questions better and trying to find out the answer in much more easier way. So for that we are having uh, three different cases. So the, uh, let me start my writer. So here there are three different cases. The first one is when you are having four rows in a line. So these can be done in this like this is here this is the one way this is the second way This is the third way. This is the fourth way. The second condition is when we are having three rows, three boxes in a row. So this is this is done in one of the two ways. The first one is like this. And the second one is this and the third condition is when you are having two rows two boxes so these are the three conditions now to understand which phase comes up we will take a example of uh, an ordinary cube so in an ordinary dice we see that uh, 1 is opposite of 6, 2, 4, 5, 3 and 4. So these are the opposite faces in actual dice, right? So we'll take these case and we'll understand how these opposite faces come in these opening of the cubes. Let me choose a different color. So here to understand this so whenever we come up with a picture like this when there are four boxes in a row so the thing is these two different boxes are already opposite this one and this one and similarly in this this then in this case this one and then this one in this case this one and then this one and in this case in this one and this one so these are the opposite faces and here in the four rows every alternate are opposite so here he will mark so first is 1 so opposite is 6 here here it is 2 so the opposite is 5 here it is 3 so it will be 4 similar cases 1 so opposite will be 6 here it is 2 so opposite will be 5 here it is 3 opposite will be 4 in this case 1 so opposite will be 6 either 2 5 3 4 in this case 1 6 2 5 3 4 
here also one six two five three four and when we find three three boxes are in a row so here and the different alternate boxes are also on the opposite side so here if one is here six will be here where two is here so five is here and now the remaining will be three is here then four is here then similar fashion if one is here then six is here two is here so five is here three is here so here will be four and when we see a case like uh, two boxes are there so what we have to do is first we will take one box that is in the first corner so in that we will uh, we will leave the uh, just the box which is just beside this box and the box which is adjacent to this box so the box which is beside one so this is the box and the box which is in contact with this this so we'll leave these two and mark here that will be the opposite face of it similarly if we take this box so for example this is two so we'll leave this box and we'll leave this box so here it will be five and the remaining are one is three and the other is four so now that we've understood how to figure out uh, which face is lying on which opposite this will help in finding the questions mm, the answers to the questions in a much more easier way so let me get to the questions so here in the first question it is saying there is a figure given and we are here to find which can be made from this now just now we have learned to find the opposite faces so here we will do the same thing so here we can see in this is we are seeing four rows in a uh, in a, four boxes in a row so we'll make the opposite faces so for two it will be four for one it will be six and for five it will be three so whenever uh, these these are the opposite pair of the boxes so when the boxes are in opposite they can never be adjacent to each other so now let us see the example so here in the boxes we are seeing one so starting from here we can see that here we see six and one but here we have seen that one and six are opposite faces so they cannot be adjacent to each other so this will not be the answer here we see 3 and 5 so which is also an opposite pair so they cannot be adjacent to each other so this one is also not an answer then we see this 2 and 4 so here 2 and 4 is opposite pair so this cannot be answer so our, our answer will be D so we can make a box out of these only when the out of these pairs uh, the three of which are being seen like we are seeing here one three and four so one out of this pair we are seeing one three and four so out of these three pairs from each pair we are seeing one number like from this pair we are seeing four this pair we are seeing one and from this pair we are seeing three so only when all of these three pairs each one number is being shown or one face is being shown then only we can make a cube out of those open cube next proceed to the next question so here we can see the same question is there out of this figure is given uh, what will be the cube of this figure we can quickly do the same thing as we have done in the previous one like we will make boxes opposite pairs so this this symbol opposite of this symbol will be is equal to sign then for dot symbol opposite pair will be cross and for the shaded reason 
the opposite pair will be box so we can quickly find the answer based on this so here we can see this uh, we'll just match the pair whether the, uh, the the opposite pairs are there or not so for here we are seeing the plus sign so plus and uh, is equal to our opposite so here it is plus we are not seeing any equal to sign we are seeing a box not seeing so this can be our answer now let us so this is our answer but let's check the other answers as well so for here you are seeing the box and stated reason are, are adjacent to each other but but here these are opposite pair so this cannot be the answer here we see this equal to and dot is uh, adjacent to each other but they are opposite pair so this cannot be our answer then here we are seeing this plus sign and is so here we are seeing this box again the stated reason and this box are adjacent to each other but they are opposite so it is cannot be our answer so our answer will be a in this next question we can find the answer by elimination method also or we can use the analytical method also so here we, when we see these four triangles will join and make a square so whenever these four triangles will make up so this will look like something this and well they will combine so here we'll have minus here is equal to here plus and here n2 so based on this we can eliminate the figures so this cannot be done because this is a simple square but this is making a cross sign so this cannot be our answer this also cannot be our answer So, but this seems like it can be the answer but also not because we are not sure of this so we need to check it with our uh, opposite sign opposite faces so like uh, in this figure what we can see here is we if we try to find out the opposite sides right so here for uh, so here we can see we are having three faces together and these three faces together so every alternate is opposite of this so opposite of a plane box will be a plane box for this this now for this also the opposite will be this white box for this white box opposite will be again a white box and for this the middle one which is having a box in between the opposite faces will be the upper side which we just drew so this is the opposite side this is plus this is into this is minus and this is equal to so what we have learned is that a cube can be made out of this only if out of these three pair one from each pair is present in the assembled one so here we can see out of this one plane box is there so this is there again one plane box is there so this is there and from this pair this is a square so this is also there so this cube can also be formed with this arrangement so this is our answer now let's check the remaining so here in this we see this is plus this is minus this is equal to okay so this is also good so here this is there one box and from here we are having this from this we are having this so from each pair we are having one one so this is also our answer now moving on to this so here we see that this uh, n2 sign is on the up upward and the plus sign is downward which is wrong because here we have n2 at the downward so this is also wrong so here answer will be a and b both now coming to the types of synergy questions which are, has been asked in the previous year so whatever the we learned previously were the general reasoning questions for the cube 
so but in synergy these kinds of question we are asked but i have made you understand those kinds also because because it might happen that the synergy may change the type of question which is being asked so you have to ready for that also so based on the previous year questions in synergy these types of question we are asked where you have to find the opening of the cubes now whenever these types of question comes into an exam we just have to use our analytical skills to identify the patterns that will help us uh, in saving much more time as compared to any traditional method so here what we can see is these two triangles are touching each of each other right the cones of the vertices of these two triangles are touching each other so we just have to figure it out in these answers where we are finding the same arrangement so here we can see that in this arrangement we can see that uh, these two triangles are touching each other here the opposite sides are touching so this cannot be our answer so here all the triangles are uh, facing diff different direction this cannot be our answer here also these two triangles are touching each other so this can be our answer so now out of this we have to decide which one is our answer now we have to use our uh, skin, analytical skill a little bit so we'll just try to figure it out by opening the cubes so first we'll open the cube from this side so just so just to make you understand when we open the cube from this side so what we'll have this in a box we'll have this triangle opened up right this one is colored and below that will be like this this is also colored right but now we have to understand here is that when we open from this side so we'll have a cube like this and this will be like this this is also a shaded one we'll have like this arrangement so we'll have just have to check this arrangement is there or not so clearly we are seeing that this in the third part is on the right side which we draw but in answer we are having this one also in left side this one also in left side now we just have to use our common sense to understand what is happening here so here we can see in this figure this arrow is pointing to the triangle of the downward side like this is the upper part this is the downward part and this is the lower part so this triangle is pointing towards the lower side when this is in the right direction right but in answer we are seeing both the both the third part is in left direction so when this when we will rotate this so this will go to the left direction but when this will go to the left direction so this will turn upside down right this will turn upside down so now this will be pointing to the upward triangle this triangle will be pointing to the upward one so here we can see the answer will be a because we have just rotated this figure now after rotation this will go from this will go from right to left and the upward will be go to downward similarly in next question we can just find out that this this line a straight line is coming in middle of this triangle right in this triangle and this line so we have to find similar uh, similar thing in our answers so this is not our answer here we can see this line is coming in middle of this triangle so this is this can be our answer let's see other also so here we can see there are different arrangements this cannot be our answer these are facing in opposite direction so this cannot be our answer so here our answer will be b the next question here we see this this triangle and this line is in the same direction so here we will see this is in opposite direction this is in different direction this is also in different direction so our answer will be a directly so you can see by analyzing the figure only we can understand which one will be the cubes 
here we see this line so this triangle comes in between these two lines and they are adjacent to each other so we will try to find out similar measurement so here we can see directly in b these are options let's check the other options so here we can see this is in opposite direction this cannot be answer this is in opposite direction this is also in. they are not adjacent to each other at all so here our answer will be because here here we are seeing this empty space space is coming in between of the of cone of the triangle so here also the same arrangement also here you can verify with the thing that when we try to open that box from here so if you open the box from here so here we will have this arrangement this one is the sided one and this one is the sided one and downside we will having the triangle and then if we open from this side so this will come up like this and a box in between so here you can see this comes up but this is we are not finding this in our option so we'll have to go with a different way we'll open it from this side so if we open up from this side so this will come right here so this box will come right here right so this will match with this answer so we can go by both ways but uh, to save time we can just figure it out by analyzing the you know, pictorial representation of them in this question we'll have the same thing we'll try to understand the fact that this the cone of this triangle is touching the upper box right upper sided box so we'll see what kind of arrangement are there so these are ultimately ruled out because they are not touching at all now in these cases here we see most of the people will take the a as right answer but here we need to see that this vertex of the triangle is touching the upper part of the sided region but here in this case this uh, the cone of the triangle is touching the lower part of the sided region right so this cannot be your answer in this case this is also touching the lower part right but here the i section is in downward which means that this is a rotated version of what our actual answer is here in this case what is happening is that i was above this box which means this is the simpler view but when i is downward here which means this figure is rotated so when this is rotated so this uh, if i comes down so, so here i is downward so this will come from here in this picture it is uh, touching the upward but when we'll rotate it so this will come and this will be seen as touching it downward similarly in this figure we'll see this triangle and the position of this is in the middle of it right in the middle of it so we'll, we can just straight away find that this is the portion which we are looking for so this will be our right answer in this figure we'll try to find out so here we see that this box this box is in between this cross so we'll just try to find out which are adjacent to each other so here they are in different direction this is crossed they are uh, alternate one so this will be uh, they, they will come opposite so this is crossed so this is crossed so this is our answer here we find this box is coming in this under this triangle so this box is coming under this triangle so this is really our answer so in similar way we can find different answers to different questions and next question is for you you can solve pause the video and solve it and to get the study material for synergy you can find the uh, link in the description to get the compilation of the PDF that is 
will be mentioned the link will be given in the mentioned in description if you like this video please like share and comment and if you want to make uh, see video on different topic also you can comment and if you find and this video interesting please share it with your friends and if you find any flaw in this video please help me to understand where i made any mistake or where i have to improve myself so that i in the next coming video i can make it much more clear and crisper thank you